Young Ki Kim is chasing the meaning of life. For many, that's a philosophical or religious question. But for this award-winning physicist, the answer lies in science. We want to understand how, what the world or what the universe is made of. In other words, what is the smallest thing in the world that makes all of us. Dr. Kim is the deputy director of Fermilab, a sprawling physics lab west of Chicago, where scientists use huge machines to smash atoms into the tiniest pieces. Fermilab is home to Tevatron, the world's most powerful accelerator. So the protons are accelerated in one direction and antiprotons are accelerated in the other direction, opposite direction. So when they reach uh, the maximum energy or essentially speed of light, these two beams opposite beams will collide, and detectors are built surrounding this collision area to capture all the information of what happened during this collision. Built underground, Tevatron is four miles in circumference. It collides millions of protons and antiprotons together each second. It's the reason Fermilab is the number one physics lab in the world, but not for long. This fall, CERN, a lab in Geneva, Switzerland, will turn on an accelerator four times larger than Fermilab's. It took about a decade to build uh, that accelerator and associate the detectors. And we are all excited for this new the accelerator, and which is much more powerful than the Tevatron. But that means Fermilab could lose the best and brightest scientists who have come to the U.S. for decades to do their research. To make matters worse, Congress cut Fermilab's budget this year by 10 percent, forcing it to lay off 200 employees and cut back on major projects. If you want to be a really strong country, to my mind, you have to really support uh, science broadly, not really focusing on one or the other. Particle physics is a term that rarely comes up in everyday conversation. But it's led to everyday inventions, like the components in your home computer and proton and neutron beams used to treat cancer. So we are developing a lot of those cutting-edge technology, and all those technology is, uh, can be applicable to a uh, uh, society in not exactly the same format, but very different ways. To help Fermilab stay on top, Dr. Kim is campaigning to host an even bigger accelerator than the one in Switzerland the International Linear Collider. But Fermilab faces tough competition from sites in Japan and Switzerland. And with the recent budget cuts, Fermilab's chances of winning the bid are shaky. But that hasn't stopped Dr. Kim from focusing on the big picture. She admits she still doesn't know the meaning of life, but she continues chasing the answers. So you have to like the uh, every day of small progress. You are not going to answer, you're not going to know the answer uh, in your lifetime. It probably this will take many, many generations until we really get the final answers.